Planet Mobius was like a paradise, until the evil Dr. Robotnik and his mechanical legions conquered the land and its people, using his knowledge of technology and pollution. But many brave, courageous citizens banded together as a brave group of freedom fighters. They struggled to overthrow the dictator and one day regain what was theirs. Among them, the greatest of the freedom fighters is the fastest and way coolest dude on two feet, Sonic the Hedgehog. Now that Robotnik has been defeated, Today is the first day that a long-awaited peace can be graciously enjoyed. On this fine morning, Sonic and his doodlage tails take time to themselves, together striving to develop the talent Sonic possesses that within Tails' reach. The gift of speed. Let's watch. Another time, another place. People come to this classy establishment to dance and get away from the evil doctor and his robotic army. This is a safe haven for the people of the city, for this is one place the doctor's all seeing eyes and listening ears are not. The voice, the voice on, the on the phone, phone said, said they, they wouldn't, wouldn't be missed. missed. We'll, we'll see. see. Oh my. That's <laughs> Okay, maybe she was right. The way she looks, who'd want to miss her? She's headed this way, I hope. My name is Miss Acorn, and you're Sonic, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. I'm the one who called you. I know of someone who has the power and information to rid Mobius of that horrible Dr. Robotnik forever and stop him from turning good people into robot slaves. Uh, I'm listening. Continue, please. All someone would have to do is find my friend Nicole, bring her back to me, and collect a nice, big, juicy reward. You've got yourself a man. I'll have her back in your pretty little hands in no time. Come in, Uncle Chuck. Do you read? Loud and clear, my boy. I'm heading over to the west side to check out the Slippy Dippy Slide Factory. See what you can dig up on the computer about the place. Talk to me, Unc. The Slide Factory is clean as a whistle. It had its problems in the past, but nothing to do with robotic and that's what you're up against. No time for that now. I'm going in for a closer look. Somebody was definitely in here looking for something. And what's this black stuff on the walls and floor? You don't use this type of oil in making slides. This is robot oil. And I know there's only one fat man who would send oil dripping junk piles to do his dirty work. Uncle Chuck, you still there? Sure am. What do you need? I found robot oil all over the place down here. See if there are any traceable signals leaving the area. If these guys are as cheap as I think they are, they should be easy to track. If Robotnik is involved, what does this Nicole know that is so important? Uh, Sonic, uh, can you hear me? You're right. I'm tracking four robots. They're only a few blocks away. If you hurry, you should be able to catch them in time. Hurry is my middle name. They're heading for the heart of the city. Gotta get under them fast before they enter Robotnik's control range. Okay, it's time to go to work. Let me guess. Robotnik sent you. Here's a message for him. Now I'll just go get your buddy and relieve him of his burdens. Whatever he's holding must be a clue. Mind if I lighten your load? Give back, must complete mission. You should really pay more attention to the road than to your passengers. Gotta love cheap robots. Now maybe I can get some answers. Open says me. Hello, my name is Nicole. What's this? I wasn't looking for a person. I was chasing some computer. Don't go blowing any circuits. I'll have you back in no time. And then Miss Acorn is going to tell me what I've gotten myself into. I hope Nicole is all right. Yeah, I'm a little worried about Sonic too. Here you go, Miss Acorn. 
You better give her a refill in the juice department, though. I was so worried. Is Nicole all right? She's not damaged, is she? She's low on power. I'll just pop in a fresh... Nicole, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Thanks to the man who brought me here. I'm glad to hear everything is hunky-dory. There's something you need to know. Waiter, can we get the check? It's more like time to pay the check, you talk. You don't even know who you're working for, do you? Well, allow me to introduce you to the leader of the rebellion, Princess Sally. And that box you work so hard to deliver contains the plans to every one of my research facilities. That information could destroy me. But now that I have it, there's no need for you to live. You're the Princess of the Rebellion? And you were going to tell me this when? You left so fast I barely had a chance to tell you where to look. We'll argue this point later. Right now, though, somebody has to save our skin. What? Ah, hedgehog. Wouldn't want the little lady to lose her head prematurely, would you? Sonic, I'm so sorry. If I told you all the details, you might not have wanted the king. I downloaded all of Robotnik's files from the slide factory into Nicole's memory bank. Then these robots showed up. I was trapped! I had to get Nicole out of there and back to the forest. Any way I could. So the first chance I got, I climbed out an open window. That's when I dropped Nicole. I couldn't go back and risk getting caught looking for her. That's why I hired you. If anyone could get in and out of that place in a jiffy, it was you. You see, Hedgehog? You're lit. Maybe not. What? Stop him! Huh? We're getting out of here now! I want them out! The search pattern doesn't exist. They have won this round, but you can bet there will be next time. How I hate him. Power rings. Never leave home without them. Nice trick. What do you do for an encore? All I have to do is call my Uncle Chuck. He can arrange a plane to fly us back to the forest. Come in, Uncle Chuck. Heard every word, my boy. Tails and Rotor are flying out to meet you this very instant. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. That's two I owe ya. How are we supposed to get to the airport with Robotnik's goons running around outside? With a little trick sip the waiter showed me. <laughs> Ladies first. The tunnel runs straight to the airport. I like this guy sip already. I'm sorry, Sally. I work alone. I wish you'd reconsider. We could really use a man like you in the rebellion. And I'm sure Robotnik has put plans into effect that will make the information in Nicole useless. But think of it. One strong team against Robotnik, or two teams bumping into one another out there. Well, you're starting to make some sense, Miss Acorn. All right, I'm in. United we stand, divided we fall. Alone, it could only slow Robotnik's planes to turn the world into robots. But as part of a team, he can save the forest and bring peace to the city. The Rebellion's got a powerful new ally, and the struggle goes on. With new hope. Let's get it.